thought it was time for me to revisit this Badger 2040. It's still a real excellent looking device, really lovely. These buttons don't do anything, but that's because this is off, isn't it? It just looks like it's on because it just keeps whatever was previously on the screen on. So what was the port again? It's been so long. USB-C. So let's find one of them. Hopefully that has some power on it. Oh yeah, so straight away it's instantly changed. So clock fonts and ebook. These are the this is the menu. It says Badger OS at the top. So clock, I mean that's a cool font. I love that font actually. How do I get it back from that? Okay, so it's not them. Is that B? No, C. Alright, what about holding that down? No, I haven't read the instructions of course. How about holding both of them down? Hang on, wasn't there a... Ah, there's a reset button on the back, isn't there? So, let's press one of those. Okay, yeah, so... Alright, so that was a clock. Fonts. Ah, so... That's gothic font there. Well, those fonts are lovely. They must be part of the... Well, I don't know. They're part of the firmware? Or are they stored on the internal device? I've got no idea. That's how we select the fonts. I wish I knew how to go back. It doesn't look like there is a back or select specifically, I don't think. No, so that's just a font demo. All right, so let's... I'm going to try the boot button just in case that changes everything. I doubt it will. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. So let's go back to the reset button, which is here. All right, so resets everything. Ebook. Wind in the willows. Okay, so that could go on for some time. Oh, actually, it's not the whole book. Oh, it, yeah, it is. It's the whole book. Anyway, you don't want to see that, do you? The mole had been working very hard all the morning. Okay, right. So is there a back key? Do these do anything? No. No, all right. So I'll do the reset again. Then let's go to the second page. Well, one is image, <laughs> which is the badger, or indeed the badger punk. Are there extra images? There's a little dot there. What does that dot do? Nothing really. Okay, well, again, so you can display these black and white dithered images on it, which is pretty cool. wonder how much memory they take up. And the final one, oh no, not the final one, there was list. Badger, badger, badger. <laughs> um, so come on, I must be able to select. Oh right, okay, so what does that do? It's selecting some things. But if I do that, oh yeah, I can see badger is uh, highlighted behind. Yeah, so that's... Right, so I can select which bit I want on the list and select it. Okay. Badger, 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 snake. Right, let's reset that. And then the final one, I think, was um, the badge. I've got a badge, but I'm not a badger. In fact, I am a badger. Right, okay, so pretty cool. So that's what this does out the box. I'm going to see next if I can program it. Just leave that there for this video, and then we'll come back to it and uh, have a look at the code and see what the code does, see if we can make head or tail of the code. It might be in C, it could be in anything, who knows. Uh, but we'll have a look at that in a, in a later video. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Badger 2040. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, please like and of course, bye.